Tonight, two Russian cosmonauts perform a spacewalk outside the International Space Station. Officials say they were preparing a docking compartment on the ISS for use later this year. And a space junk collision has left a hole in the International Space Station. The crash damaged a robotic arm. Not enough to keep it from working, but the damage is bringing renewed attention to the danger posed by things floating around in orbit. Joining us now with more is Dr. Addie Dove. She's a planetary scientist and assistant professor at University of Central Florida. Good morning. Good morning. So how serious is this? Um, it's a it's one of the big concerns we have with things orbiting in space, um, whether they're around the Earth or further out. We have to worry about debris and things both uh, human created and natural hitting objects that are in space. So from what I understand, space is full of junk and debris just floating around. How does NASA track it all? Yeah, and it's not quite as bad as you think. It's not like every little square inch of our uh, orbital space is covered in debris, but it's enough that there are occasionally these intersections, occasionally you run into stuff. And when you do, it's bad because, this, for instance, the space station is going so fast as it orbits the Earth. Even if a little teeny tiny thing hits, it hits with a lot of impact because it's going so fast. Um, and so we have to worry about things from other satellites, things from micrometeorites, what are called little rocks to avoid any big damage on the station. Is there a way that you can clean up space or is the debris there forever? Um, that's what that's a big question right now, actually. <laughs> um, and there's a there's an orbital debris program within NASA. There are other companies that look at tracking orbital debris. Um, and there are a lot of sort of challenges out there from NASA and other companies right now about ways to sort of clean up the space junk. Um, part of it is some sort of simple ideas of things like nets that could sort of capture debris and keep it closer to a satellite, for instance, if a satellite broke up. Um, part of it is things like magnets and other technologies that could be used to sort of sweep up space junk that's out there and, and can cause damage. Thank you so much, Dr. Dove. Now, I, I so much appreciate you. You put everything into such a, a easy, easy to understand, you know, and, and she has a great podcast. It's called Walk About the Galaxy. If you want to check that out, walkaboutthegalaxy.com. Thanks. Good to talk to you. Great talking to you. Take care.